All right, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, uh, the 30th chapter. And, um, you know, I was watching a few videos, I was meditating, and um, I saw a brother video, brother in the camp, his uh, title of his video was something around the lines of, um, you have to draw the land, uh, you have to draw a line through the sand, something around those lines, and um, that, you know, signaled me to uh, get into this lesson, all right, and I'm reading here Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, and um, let, before I read this, let me get... um. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 because Deuteronomy 30th chapter it applies right now you know it, I'm gonna get it you know basically Deuteronomy 30th chapter you know is when the Lord knew you know after giving the Israelites the word in, uh, through Moses to tell them that if they uh, do the commandments they will receive a blessing but if they go against the commandments they will receive curses and overall our Lord, Yahweh, all right, he knew that Israel was going to go off. So he told Moses to speak those words. And um, I would read the whole chapter, but I want to stay uh, on the topic, which is uh, maybe I'll title this video. You have to um, you have to make a choice. And that's what it's all about. I was watching um, uh, Elder Yashawamba. He did a nice video and uh it's, it's it's word it's out there man you know you got you different camps hitting brothers pages up you know uh you have uh what is what this guy Nate Nate from IUIC uh he um spoke on this woman you know and he telling you that you should take vaccines you know so you got a lot of um those of the circumcision that know the Israelites you know they're in these different camps and they're asking questions on what they should do. Well, what you should do, all right, is follow 100% truth. All right? This is not no can't banging thing. This is the truth. Your life is on the line. If you're not going to get serious and sit down and research this for, for it to save your life, to get the word the correct way, to follow the spirit of the Lord, then you, you're dead already. You're dead already, man. All right. And all of these false prophets, these leaders that's telling you to take vaccines, they're gearing you and conditioning you, conditioning you. And they're going to tell you also if they have the time to tell you to take the chip. All right. When they issue this mark of the beast and force it because the end goal of these elites and what we're in right now. It's for them to push their new world order and for everyone to be microchip. All right. That's Bible. That's bi that's biblical prophecy. It's not just because what he said, it lines up with scripture. So I have the scripture here, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. It says to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So with this being said, you should understand prophecy. This is speaking and giving you understanding on how prophecy works. OK, to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. There's always a particular time and reason for things to happen. And as you read verse two, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance. These are particular times and purposes that you that 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 the Lord put you through. All right. For this for this particular season. Right. So I'm going to jump down. All right. And I'm going to go to verse eight. It says a time to love, a time to hate and a time of war and a time of peace. What we're in right now is a time and purpose under the heaven. Which is a transformation of power kingdomship okay transformation of power kingdomship the most high has esau ready 
to force his agenda, to bring forth his new kingdom in which he already ruled his last kingdom. He's destroying his old kingdom to bring in a new kingdom, which that is against the heavenly father's orders, ordinance and, and promises in which he gave unto his chosen. This is Esau striving to extend his kingdomship on earth and his rulership. He's extending his blessing. All right. Job 924 sp speaks it great. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This is the wicked you're talking about. That's ruling the earth. You think that he's not going to come up with a plan to rule forever. As the scriptures say, he wants to sit in the temple of the most high. All right. He wants to sit in the seat of the most high as if he is the most high. So this is a power trip. This is Esau striving to be a God. He wants to be a God. He wants you to worship him. He is creature like we're creatures, but he wants to be worshiped as a God. He wants to dethrone the heavenly father, the creator. He wants to uh, dethrone Yahweh Shai, who laid his life, all right, for the elect of Israel. All right. And um, I should say, you know, also of all of Israel, but starting with the elect and gave his blood up. He wants to take that away and he wants to be the king, the God on this earth. He wants to eliminate the existence of the heavenly father. And why I say that, OK, is because his end goal is for you to be microchip. All right. 5G. We all talked about it. All right, this system that's in play, okay, when you're microchip, which is something you should research, and you should research vaccines, okay, because that's nothing, vaccines is nothing but a prelude injection for you to be programmed, for you to pay allegiance to his, uh, to the image of the beast, his system, all right, he wants God status. With that chip being inserted inside your body, he can control everything about you, where you are, what you do, how you act. OK, he can determine whether you live or die. All right. He knows your heartbeat. He knows how much you ate, what type of food you're eating. You guys that claim that this chip is not the mark of the beast. You are insane, man. You are insane. Do you understand what you are reading when you read the scriptures, man? You know, let me say, call halal la, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The water, the water, the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, for opening my eyes through my apostles and elders. All right, and research that I've done on my own after learning the truth, man. So, the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This chip is real deal. You don't understand the depths of it. You need to research. But this lesson is not about the chip. All right. So as we read Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, to everything, there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. All right. Let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy and 30, because the topic of this video, I want to I want to uh, title it something around the lines of um, uh, you have to make a choice. All right. You have to make a choice. And I'm speaking to you, Israelites, those of the circumcision, those of you in these different camps from the men to the women. All right. To the uh, young men, uh, teenagers who are, in the, you know, watching the videos secretly, <laughs> you know, because there's men out there, there's brothers out there that are young, very young. And they're under their mother's household, son's household, and they can't do but much. You know, hopefully this lesson to edify you. Don't take no vaccine. And don't take the chip, man. You know, seek mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai right now. You know, let me say this lesson is for the hopeful elect, man. You know, I'm not here to try to preach to the two thirds. You know, I'm just hoping to edify those and strengthen those through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to encourage you to have some courage, you know, and faith. It says Deuteronomy 30 and 15. See, I have I have set before thee. This day, life, uh, life and good 
and death. Hold on, it's locked here. So I want to start there. Where did I want to start at? Um, all right, let's start at 10. Deuteronomy 30 and 10. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, and keep his commandments and his statutes, which, which are written in this book of the law, and if thou turn unto the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul, for this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. All right, so it's very important that you follow the commandments of the Lord. Now, the, the stat, the laws is not going to save you, but it, 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 it does save you in a way because it's your faith that gets you delivered. And really, in all reality, you have to be ordained. You have to be promised and chosen from the very beginning. All right, starting with you men. Now, the law governs our flesh. Right now, it's clearly going to be all about faith. Faith, man. You're going to have to make choices that is gonna, you're going to lose your life. Matter of fact, Yahweh Shai said, He that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. He that findeth his life shall lose it. Okay? So be prepared to lose your life. Fuck this world, man. Yes, is that real? Is that blunt? Is that serious? You probably want to click off the video right now. I ain't watching this shit no more. You know? Well, guess what? If you do, then let it be your ass, man. That's grass, man. Because you're going to have to sacrifice. The scriptures talk about giving thy body as a living sacrifice, man. You have to sacrifice, man. All right? If you ain't make no sacrifices, you have not walked through the straight gate. You have not walked through the, the path with the fire on the right and the water on the left, man. Okay? You have not walked through that path through your how I was shy. And guess what? Everything that you do, when you consent unto these devils, you're going to be had in derision. That's second address, the 16th chapter. All right. When you consent unto them, you're going to be had in derision. And every work that you've done in this in this truth, every rehearsal act that you did, it was in vain. OK, it was enough. It was nothing. man. It's not going to be accounted to you. It says Deuteronomy 30 and 10. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which I have written in this book of the law. And if thou turn unto the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. For this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. Verse 12. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us. That we may hear it and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart, and in that thou mayest do it. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. So there's a choice you're going to have to make. You're either going to see life and good or death and evil. Okay. Now the Lord sent out the prophets in this day so that you can't say, oh, I never knew. You got two thirds of our people. The Lord, see, the Lord had Moses speaking to all of Israel here. All right. But you got two thirds that despised this truth. They hated the truth. They didn't want to hear the truth. They didn't want to acknowledge it was the truth. Well, guess what? You can't say, I never knew. Oh, I ain't know about that. If I would have known, I wouldn't have did it. Nah, the Most High is not no simple Jake. All right? The Most High is a master that, that must be feared. All right? It says, see that I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Verse 16, in that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy power, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord Yahweh thy power shall bless thee in the land, whether thou goest to possess it. But if thou heart turn away, 
so that thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. Let me read that again. But if thou heart turn away, so that thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish. And that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whether thou passeth over Jordan to go possess it. Now remember, this is history. This is the Lord speaking and telling Israel, telling Moses to tell Israel, you know, you don't hearken unto the ways of the Lord. All right. Because the Lord knew we were going to go off eventually that these things were going to befall you, man. OK, so he said, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong the days of, upon the land. And you got Jake that really want to prolong their days on this fucking wicked kingdom, man. Fuck this world, man. Excuse my French, man. You know, let me calm down, you know, you know, you, you fuck this world. Fuck Esau, man. The hell with this system. You don't know that we at war. You can't go outside. Well, you can go outside now. But you America's finished, man. It's done. It's done. It ain't coming back, you know. And even if it do come back, the Lord is going to destroy the scriptures say uh, then sudden destruction cometh upon it. man. All right. This is place is done. It's done. And even if we do get back, guess what? It will never be the same. Too many businesses lost jobs. All right. There's too many people right now. Unemployment. How are you going to work this back up? It has to have a solution. It has to has a new plan, a new way. You think Esau going to allow you to build in the way that you were building before? No, they have a plan. They just rolling it out, man. Taking it day by day, you know. And um, even though the scriptures say he knoweth that he hath but a short time, why do he know? Because he know that the Lord is going to return soon. He knows that when he does this, when he mandate and he forced vaccines and he forced chips, that guess what? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is near. All right? Because this is that great test that's coming upon us Israelites, man. And I'm going to say all of you Israelites, even the two thirds, but us of the whole four elect. You should know that this is this is uh, our time, man, to be tested. That great test, man. This is what we've been prophesizing for, you know. You just know that the elect is going to be saved out of it, man. And there's various scriptures to back that up, you know. All right. So anyway, um, verse 19, it says, um, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death blessing and cursing therefore choose life that both thou and thou seed may live so you know you think that you're going to save your life that woman that asked nate and nate told her she if you have to take a vaccine get it if you think you're going to save your life in this god forsaken world of esau you're going to lose you're going to lose it and you're going to lose it fast man and if not what's that amos is that amos the fifth chapter Lean his hand upon the wall, serpent bit him. Um, uh, speaks on, um, let me see, so like I come right back. I think it's the fifth chapter. No, it might be the third. All right, this is uh, Amos 5 and 19. It says, um, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And that's important because if you think that you're not going to go through Jacob's trouble, all right, and you're not going to be going through the hell, going through that straight gate, going through that fire, then what end is it for you? Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. 
That's strictly talking about you members, you can't, men and women that believe you're not going to go through a Jacob's trouble. That's clearly talking about you. Because the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right? You're going to go through Jacob's trouble, man. Verse 19, if any man did flee from a lion and a bear met him and went into a house and the leaned his hand upon the wall and the serpent bit him, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. All right. So meaning, look, you can't escape judgment, man. So don't think to save your life when you think when you don't want to sacrifice, you know, you want to save your life. By following Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Scriptures say, A prudent man foresee of the evil and he hideth himself. What did he hide himself in? The scriptures. Psalms 91 speaks on um, abiding under the shadows of the Almighty. Okay? What are you hiding from? You're hiding under the shadows of the Lord so that you can be saved. But if you think that you're going to um, save your life, you know, and prolong and save your job so because your livelihood, your income, then, then you, you, you're dead. You're dead, man. You're dead. You know, Lord is all about change and sacrifice right now. You know, the scriptures in, um, what's that, Sirach, the second chapter, he said, um, when thou art changed to a low estate, you know, you're going to be changed into a low estate. You're going to lose everything according to the, how this world works, according to how this system works. Remember, Yahweh Shah said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. So how do you think that you're going to, you know, have everything a heart could wish for and you got all this money living in a nice, comfortable crib and all of a sudden you just took it up. Nah, it don't work like that, man. It don't work like that. You got to walk through the straight gate. All right. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 30 and, um, and uh, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. So either you choose life or death. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah or Esau. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is life. That's where it's gonna take it's gonna take great faith. But death, that's Esau. Alright. Second Edris speaks on that, man. Matter of fact, I have to get it real quick. Cause um just to edify, edifying sake, um, second address 16. All right. And, um, let's see, I think around 56. No, let's go down. Um, let's go down. This, this chapter right here is bad, man. Cities. Yep. Uh, this is second address 16 and 69 and date. Oh, 68. 67. Behold, Yahweh himself is the judge. Fear him. You know, you want to break the Lord's commandments because you want to keep your job? You want to get vaccinated because you have to? Who said you have to? You got to make a choice to get vaccinated. All right? They didn't strap you down in the bed seat, in, in the bed, strap your arms down and just inject it in you. You know? You got to make a choice. Fear him. Fear Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities and meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Because if you're going to say, I'm going to follow the Lord, you know, that means you're, you're, you're going to end up being blameless in the Lord's eyes. So whatever happens to you and trouble befalls you, the Lord going to be right there to, to be your refuge, to be your shield. Because you gave everything up for him. You caught hell in trouble because you didn't want to break his laws and commandments. Because what laws and commandments are you going to stand by? The government or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Because the government right now believes that they're God. That's, that's, the, that's the, the power, that's the uh, imagination, strong delusion that the Most High put upon them. All right? These Edomites, these elites and their puppets, they believe that they're going to win. They have power. They've been having power for over all of these years. They believe they're going to be gods. They're going to have what they call us sheeple being actual cattle, man. Okay, brain dead, zombies. Because they look at you like that anyway. All right? 
They just want have to. They want to play with you like this is like Hunger Games, man. They want to put chips in you so that they could be an evil god over you, do whatever they like unto you, man. Make your life miserable, man. They can they can understand your heartbeat through this chip, okay? They can understand your brain your brain wave pattern, what you thinking about, man. All right, what type of foods you put in your body? You know, are you eating acidic or are you eating alkaline? Are you are you being a rebel? Are you read like yeah, man? This, they about to have. If Esau get away with this, they're gonna be gods, okay? But they're not. But anyway, it says, "So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble." So fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. All right, and that's that chip. It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trodden underfoot. So guess what? For all you guys that's in ISUPK, and I'm going to say IUIC, under those orders and leadership, y'all all is going to uh, consent unto the government. You're going to take microchips. You're gonna, first, you're going to get vaccine. You're going to take microchips. And then it says, them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trodden underfoot. Then you're going to be demolished by Esau you're going to be demolished by the storm okay there's no protection for you man for there shall be in every place and in the next cities and great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord this is talking about us it's talking about you they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord who truly fear the Lord who truly fear the Lord? You Israelites. All right. Matter of fact, especially you Judites, man, because Jude, Judah goes back to Yahweh means Yahweh praise, man. All right. That's why that spirit in you, even if you're going off and believing in Jesus Christ, you know, you have that spirit, that connection to praise the Lord, man. It's just that it's just that you praising the wrong Lord. You praising the Lord without understanding and knowledge and wisdom. You know, you're praising Satan. And you willingly want to because you hate, you despise the truth. So anyway, I'm going to leave it with that and I'm going to wrap this up. This is verse 20, Deuteronomy 30 and 20. That thou mayest love the Lord thy power and thou mayest obey his voice and thou mayest cleave unto him for he is thy life. And thou length of days that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord Yahweh swear unto thy fathers and to Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob to give them all right so he swore the heavenly father made a promise with our forefathers which is abraham isaac and jacob to give them all right and that's the kingdom which we're going to have we're never going to perish we're never going to die all right we're never going to get sick nor cry we're going to live man all right and esau edom and you other nations are going to captivity you reap what you sow and yahweh has come to meet you Face to face like a real warrior and whoop that ass, man. <clears throat> Yahweh Bash, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.